Billy, again, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation. In terms of creating content, I started creating content maybe four years ago, and my first content was one-minute tip in terms of how to how to uh, apply for a job. But it took me maybe an hour for the words to come correctly in front of the camera. Now it's becoming very natural to have these conversations. But for new people, for people who, do, who do, doesn't know how to create content, what tips you have? Where to start? Is, is it a podcast? Is it an interview? Is it a sharing a writing comment blog? So there's a lot of options. And sometimes people get lost and where to start. So. If you have any guidance or clearance, I'll appreciate to share it with the audience. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first thing I'll say is that it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think having the awareness to know yourself and know where you thrive, maybe you love being on camera. Maybe you're very afraid of it. And just because you're afraid of it, by the way, doesn't mean you shouldn't eventually try it. But I would say at the beginning, figure out what you feel most comfortable doing and that's something you can do right away. Um, eventually, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone and try new ways. But in the beginning, you got to build that muscle. And yeah. so let's just say that writing is the thing that you think you could do right away. I believe that writing is the easiest thing to transition to, especially mm -hmm. if you start with commenting. Comment, yeah. when you think of your comments, think of your comments as a form of content, yeah. miniature content. As you comment on other people's posts, you start to build that muscle. And then you can start writing your own post. And I'll give you a quick framework that will be helpful as you're thinking about your post. The very, there's four parts. So the very first part is how do you hook your audience? How do you hook people? Give them a one line that will inspire them to read more. Give them a one line that will inspire them to read more. And think of it like this. If you have a magazine stand with 100 different magazines, how does each magazine stand out? Well, it's because of the cover. Well, your title or your headline the very first line is your cover. So make it attractive, make it inspiring for people to want to read more. And just look at other people. Look at what other people do on their on the posts that get a lot of interaction and look at their first line. After that, I suggest telling a story. A story that's either from the heart or a story that will really resonate with the audience that's relatable. But that's the second part. The third part is you want to give them something practical. You want to give them something that they could apply in their lives. It could be a couple tips. It could be, um, you know, a framework, like a four-part framework, like I'm doing right now. Something that when they're done reading this, they can actually take action on it. And the fourth and final step is a call to action. Yes. I want to caution people to think that a call to action is always something related to their business. A call to action may be, what are your thoughts? What would you like to add? Do you have something to contribute or do you have a thought on this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Some kind of inspirational line that will want them, make them want to either take action, like go to your website or get involved in the conversation. I think the majority of the time you should want them, especially in the beginning to get involved in the conversation. So hopefully that framework will help you. But as you start to do this more and more, you'll get better. Don't yeah. worry if it takes a long time to begin with. Remember the turtle. Yeah. All good things take some time. Don't rush. Do it in the time that you have, and then you'll get better and faster as you do it more. Yeah.